What's up guys, Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStereo.com, back again with another, you guessed it, amplifier. What do we have today? This is an old school sound stream reference 500 from approximately 1993. Just show you around the amp. You can see we have lights here for fault, high power and high current. We have a 50 amp fuse. 12 volt plus in ground and remote. Looks like we can fit four gauge in there pretty easily. We love these type of terminals, by the way. The insert kind with the Allen screws on the top. Those are my favorite kind. And there we have the um, speaker outputs. This is a two channel amplifier. We have the LSE.Q. And this gives you the ability to, um, to set your frequency and then set your, your boost for your bass. And then we have the input level for left and right channels. And then we have the Tiffany style RCAs. As you can see, this amplifier is a, I wouldn't really call it a beater, but it's a, um, it's one that you'd want to just throw in a car and use and not, you know, display. Well, I say that until I open up the guts and show the inside because it's gorgeous. Um, you know, it's got some scratches and nicks. I had this actually donated to me, uh, partially donated. The guy gave me a really good price on it, so I considered it kind of a donation. Um, so anyway, let me uh, give me just a second. I'll pop the bottom panel off, and we'll check out the guts. Real quick before I show you the guts, I wanted to show you the different um, items we can do here on the bottom. There's switches for high power and high current, and you always want to make sure that the amplifier is turned off when you when you use these switches, and it tells you that but you know you really need to do that and what you want to do is below one ohm you want to use the high current mode it just lowers the rail voltages um, anything above that you can use the high power mode and there's another switch down here at the bottom to go between the bridge mono the coherent stereo and the mix mono now according to soundstream if you're just using this to power components they say the best quality is going to be the coherent stereo if you're just going to use it powering a subwoofer, I guess you could just go ahead with the bridge mono. If you're going to do a tri-mode deal, which would be kind of cool with an amp like this since it's so powerful, is switch it all the way to the right, which is where I have it right now for the mix mono. So that way you could power your satellites and your subwoofer. And what it does is just really inverts one of the channels. So anyway, enough talking. Let me pop this bad boy open and we'll check it out the guts. And here are the guts of the Soundstream Reference 500. And I think I said before, this is not one to hang up on the wall. Well, that's not true. I would take this joker and mount it any day. Look at this beautiful, beautiful amplifier in the guts here. This is some masterful engineering right here, folks. I mean, just gorgeous layout here. The thing that <laughs> thing that really gets me with the um, with the Soundstream amps is how they how they do the outputs. They just sandwich them in. It looks like uh, they kind of sandwich them in between the heat sink and the board. See, they're under here, and as you can see, it says 1920 watt chassis Darlington Power Array. Just really, really gorgeous amplifier. They did an excellent job, handcrafted in the USA. Like I said, approximately 1993. Just gorgeous. I mean, this is this is amplifier art right here, folks. I mean, this is what it's all about. Seeing how all this works to take your input signal and boost it up and having a layout like this. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So I can't wait to test this one. I actually have a guy who's got a newer version of the, the one that Soundstream just recently came out with to kind of mimic these. It's the Reference 1.500. It's actually a mono block amp, but we just, I kind of wanted to compare the two just to see, you know, power output wise, which one is more powerful, the old one or the new one. So he's gonna send that to me in the next couple weeks and um, we're gonna try them out. I'm gonna put them up head to head. And even though one is a stereo amp and one's a mono amp, I don't really care. They're both called 500 watts. One of them from 1993, the other one from 2010 or 2011, whenever it first came out. 
So there you have it. OldSchoolStereo.com. This is Big D Wiz with the Soundstream reference. 500 amplifier. Stay tuned for more tests and more old school stereo equipment. This is Big D Wiz. I'm out of here.